Yeah. Like if you were passionate about music, if at some point you reach like stardom or something, like don't lose your nerve and keep doing what you love. And We're here at Ballantyne's House ADE for their true music series. They've launched the new bo branded bottles around clubs. And I'm here with Paul, who's a promoter from Nista in Barcelona. Yes. Is that right? Nista. Yes, Nista. Nista. Uh, how are you, my friend? Good to meet you. Good. All good. That was incredible watching that, the, the documentary and, the, and everything you're doing in Barcelona, which is, uh, uh, like, that club looks incredible. I mean, yes, I'm, I'm doing that now, but I'm, I'm really, lucky and honored that uh, I'm taking over the bookings now, I still like supervised by my boss, but I'm taking over something that has been built on for like 20 years, yep. almost. So, so yeah, I mean like that was, going to Nizza was my first club experience. Amazing. And my main club experience uh, as I was going to, uh, I, living in Barcelona, that was my club of choice. I was going there yep. almost every weekend. I'm still going there almost every weekend, but, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so now I'm super happy to be able to be part of that and, and shape it and everything. Yeah, I, I worked for a nightclub in, I worked for a nightclub in London uh, called Turn Mills in, in, when it was in the last five years of the club and I just literally lived there for five years and it was an incredible experience, you just, you just book the people you want to book and you, you see the people you want to see and it's just incredible working for venues, I, 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 I'm, I yeah, utterly adore anyone that does it, you know? Mm. So my question today: Are we on our on our channel? We try to give artists and pr producers kind of kind of information to help get them further in the music industry. From your side, obviously you're a venue owner. I really want to talk to you about community and how you build community and kind of how you keep it inclusive, I guess, as well. Well, building community, um, I think like. What the main example is like having this card, plastic cl uh, club card that lets you get f in for free until like 2.30. Wow. And um, then, I mean like this helps you to build community because you, the people that has this card that it's free to get, you just have to, to say like, which are your three favorite artists and a couple more of questions. Then it's people that regularly goes to the club because it's free for them. Yeah. Uh, How long have you been doing that? I know for a long time, for a, a really long time. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I love yeah, that. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, like as long as I can remember. And then, so. how do you how how are you using social to kind of build your keep the community active? And what are you doing socially to kind of? In know? in terms of social media, we are planning to do more. Like I mean, like now we are doing the basic thing and everything, but. Yeah. I want to find a way to get people more involved. I'm maybe considering doing an app for, for the club and like an app that nice. the people that has this plastic club card, it, my idea is to, to have the card on the app so they have to have the app to get in for free so everyone is going to have the app so I can send notifications but also like let them to interact somehow. I know it's just like an idea in my mind but nice. I would like people, regular people to, that comes to the club, people that comes to the club regularly to be able to interact themselves and just not know the face in, in the dance floor, like try to extend the club experience more than just like midnight to 6 a.m. every Friday or Saturday, try to create something more of, out of it. Nice. And you were talking about, you were talking about in, the, in the panel discussion about you're involving the different communities that, yes. that, that Barcelona uh, has it had in its, and it, its, in its city walls, I guess. Uh, how, how do you do that and how, what sort of, what, do you bring, what, what does each one bring to the club, I guess? I mean, like, this comes up very naturally because, like, when going out or, like, participating in events which I find interesting or just, like, paying attention to people that does exciting stuff, then normally end up being friends with the people running it. So then it's not... Normally it's never, like, me, like, meeting up with people that I don't know about, like, saying, like, let's collaborate. When I say let's collaborate is because... I already met them and, and normally we became friends because we both do things that we are passionate about. So when you meet people that does this, it's, it's very easy to, to connect and, and then start like a friendship yeah. naturally. So that's the way it comes up. And also like, I feel like very relevant to have like, we, we had a, a gay night for many years in Nietzsche, we still have that, but this queer night is like for, from a younger generation. So I think it's very important to give presents to them and also like they were complaining like all the time like ah, I can book all the dishes that I want because you have booked all of them so I was like 
yeah, okay, then we can start throwing the party in our club. And they were like, yeah, let's do that. And with the African People Community, that's also another example. We are doing this more outsider electronic party called Marabu, which goes from deconstructed electronic to reggaeton to whatever. Wow. Yeah, cool. so, so it, it's really cool and it's full of like people that, yeah, normally doesn't go to clubs because they don't like the club environment. It's kind of like, yeah, outsiders and they go there and party together and it's cool. It's like, it's, it's, it's really fun and something that don't, you don't usually find in a big club like us. And then we collaborate with different like local collectives that are like from young people that just want to throw parties and they're like, huge music lovers. So it's it's nice to have to be surrounded by this kind of people. Nice. That's really cool. I'm really into that. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, wow, that's cool, man. Um, and then the final my final thing is based around obviously the, the other thing, part of this is based around keeping music true. And I'm, I'm like I'm very into kind of DJs and producers following their own path and listening to themselves and not and not their surroundings and I just wanted to kind of get some thoughts from you maybe on on where you see how what will you think producers and DJs to do obviously you're booking a lot you see a lot of DJs yep. how are they how should they keep themselves true and kind of keep themselves focused I guess I mean like the most important thing for someone is like to stay true to, to himself and not to lose like what has led him to, to make what he's doing yeah. Like if you are passionate about music, if at some point you reach like stardom or something, like don't lose your nerve and keep doing what you love and not just like end up like two years after. I have seen this many times, like DJs that suddenly they, at some point they were not playing Nitsa that often because they were just playing like big clubs, expensive yeah. parties, VIP areas. And then they, after two years, they realized, fuck. Just playing shitty music nowadays, <laughs> and and then they want to come uh, like for like a low price to Nizza because they they want to to go back to what they were passionate about when they started. Yeah, so yeah. I think it's important for someone to 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 stay true to himself, and at the same point, on the other hand, I think it's important to be able to adapt to where you are playing. Yeah. That doesn't mean changing, like the kind of music you play, but that's this means like connecting with the audience, which is yes. like, yeah, if not, you are just not the DJ, you are like a, I don't know, like a podcast a maker. Yes, yes, yeah, so Adapt, adapting think, to your environment. Yeah, I think adapting to your environment is important, but staying true to him, to yourself, it's important as well. So it's kind of a combination of both. Amazing. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks. I, oh, for I, your I can't wait to come to your club. It looks incredible. Like, Please do. Yes. Thank I you so much, help. man. Thank you. Cheers, dude. Cheers. Thanks, man.